Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to PRL's inaugural Russian Grand Prix. And we enter that race with a pretty decent championship lead. But in qualifying, we are just a little bit off our PB, and that's enough to drop us way down into fifth position behind, indeed, all of our rivals and the rest of the top five in the championship. Rafa takes pole, which is pretty lucky for us to see his fifth. And uh, he's joined on the front row by Dubsy, Murphy's third, and Danny's fourth. Since we're starting behind all our championship rivals, I decided to start on the prime tyre and just try and keep up in the first stint and make some progress in the next stint, hopefully. Got Danielson in the other Force India joining us on the third row of the grid. And as the lights are on, off we go! And not great traction at all, in fact. Looks like we have to defend on oh, Danielson, and HS is coming around our outside. So, oh god, this is horrible. We actually can't go in either direction. We're being sandwiched here, and. Yep. Something I was going to give. And, oh, my internet also gives. So, half lucky, but mainly unlucky, in that we were both spun out and have to start from the last position in the restart. But I guess lucky that. We're still in contact with the field after losing our front wing. So we've gone here and we're trying to pass trick shot here and some of the back markers compact at the same time. It'd be quite difficult as these guys are having a battle themselves. And I didn't want to take a compact there, so I ended up losing a position again to trick shot. These guys are obviously going a lot slower than the guys up front, and I'm going to get past as quickly as possible. And there's contact there, the Toro Russo is around. This is definitely not an area of the field that I want to be a part of. And Trickshot is defending there, sort of. I'm trying to work a gap here. Hopefully I can get down the inside here, but no traction there. A bit too greedy on the throttle. Is there a spot down here? No, no. Not quite. No room there. Just trying to work our way past the Ferrari driver. I feel like I would have got the move done there without going wide if um, Trickshot hadn't moved in the braking zone, but okay. That was more an avoidance than a pass on my part. And then later in the lap, Trickshot and I have caught HSV, who's battling Tooley, I think that is. Trickshot's going for a move down the inside. Oh dear. HSV with a good idea there to stay out, well out of that. And we get sort of caught up in that as well. Trickshot completely cuts that corner. Looks like he's still going to have a run at uh, HSV though. We've both got DRS. This could be a complete mess. I'm going to go down the inside. We're going to go three wide. And oh, Trickshot's just cloppered the wall, but he's still somehow on the left of us. We've gone past HSV, who couldn't be too happy with that. We've got a good run here though on the Ferrari driver. Down the inside, surely the movie's done. No, he's still hanging on in there. He's going to cut that corner and uh, give us no room and take. Are you serious? We have a puncture, a penalty, and no front wing. Well, this is the problem you get when you have to try and work through back markers. And uh, I asked for that penalty bit to be removed by the stewards, and indeed it was. Trickshot also received a grid penalty for the next race. So I guess sort of justice served. But that has cost us a lot. We are last and 21 seconds down on ninth. This is horrible. As a championship leader, this should not be happening. We have undercut two cars there, but having to pit so early on means that we're absolutely screwed in terms of strategy. There's another two cars coming out of the pits here on lap, I think it's the end of lap eight, so they they have much better tire condition than I have right now. I think it's Tooley and HSV. This can play havoc with our championship. We need to play absolute damage limitation for the rest of this race. We do indeed catch Tooley and HSV, uh, albeit on primes and also worn primes for us at this stage. Seven laps on these already. And they're having an absolute humdinger of a battle. It looks like they're also on primes. And uh, look we'll to try and get past the McLaren driver here, if possible. He's, whoa, well, I have tapped him there, so I'm going to have to let him back through. I don't know what everyone's doing here. That costs us all quite a lot of time, unfortunately. 
They're still going at it though, and Tooley has made a move there on HSV. Sort of bottled the Red Bull driver up as we lose compact. Is there an opportunity for me to get past the Red Bull? Almost contact there. And I'm going to get past again, and oh, I had to be worried that the same thing was going to happen between HSV and I there has already happened with Trickshot and I earlier in the race. So I wait till the next opportunity, that's a DRS move quite easily for turn one. And quite a few laps pass and I'm unable to get past Tullius. My tire life is just absolutely horrific. And we've still got HSB right behind. So I've decided at the end of this lap I will pit and I'll have to go because we lose the rear there and a position to HSB. And I'm going to go on to another set of primes, only spend three laps on options. My preferred strategy was to actually do two option stints. So, wow, well, we've just so much was lost in that incident with Trickshot. It's unbelievable. You know, we're going to exit the pit lane in second to last position. Only Trickshot behind, but of course we will undercut these guys. We're going to be putting options on, so that might be a problem towards the end of the race. That's HSV there, and next lap Tooley in the pits. We're actually quite a way ahead of uh, both of them, so should be fine. At least sixth position. And it's 10 seconds up the road to 5th. That's my only real target the rest of the race to grab 10 points. We cut it down pretty much 2 seconds a lap maybe. No, not quite. 1.5 seconds a lap. And it's down to 3.5 on the penultimate lap. And uh, Rafa goes on to win the race, thank gosh. As he is the furthest away from us in the championship of the top 5. And we're catching Danielson. It's just 2 seconds. But, uh, oh, it's starting to rain there as well. I guess damage limitation, he does have a penalty so this promotes me to 5th with my penalty being removed and the other thing that's quite lucky in this unlucky race for us is that when we see the results screen at the end the top 5 is actually in the complete reverse order of the current championship order so losing progressively less points to the people closer to me in the championship Danny with 2nd position, great effort there Dubsy in 3rd and Mev in 4th we grab fifth from that, and that's the result. Drive is closing on me, but not the end of the world. I've been Jacko. See you next time.